we're going to give you guys a review of our Komodo M1100. This is our middle grade scooter that we sell here at the store. It has 30 degree hill climb, has 10 inch tubeless tires, uh, hydro, uh, hybrid hydraulic brakes. So that means they're ran by physical cables, but there's hydraulic fluid in the brake calipers, so they're dual piston for good stopping power. We're going to give you guys a review of the Komodo M1100. It's our middle range model here at Komodo Electric Scooters. What we have here in the back is our X-Tech hybrid hydraulic brakes, meaning they're cable driven, but they have hydraulic fluid inside the brake caliper, so there's no springs, so they can't rust out. We have 160 millimeter rotors in back, and then we also have 10 inch tubeless tires, meaning there's no inner tubes, so it's like your car tire set to the bead, so they're far more durable and don't just explode like the inner tube. We have our single unibody here, where it's one piece design, so there's actually not a lot of screws that can come loose on the unit. We also have front brakes too that are also X-Tech hybrid hydraulic brakes in the front. Those also are the same, but we only have a 120 millimeter rotor in the front. So you have really good stopping power. We also have an emergency brake here with the fender if you ever do need to use it, but we usually don't recommend it. And then we also right here have a really cool feature and this is a removable battery pack. So you can actually charge the battery inside the unit or outside the unit. It's IP54, IP54 waterproof, meaning you can go in light to medium rain the battery just comes right out, so you can charge it inside or outside, and then this comes down. Um, we've already driven in light to medium rain a bunch of times, never had issues. Heavy rain, we really don't recommend it because it's kind of dangerous on a scooter. Our more waterproof model is the D2400 if you're really looking for waterproof. I'll show you here how our Komodo M1100 folds. We have this little locking mechanism here that you slide up. Once you slide this up, you push this down, and then there's a safety feature so that it doesn't hit you in the face. You pop that, it comes down, Clips into the spring-loaded rear fender, lift it up, weighs 51 pounds with the battery installed. Then you actually come up here, have it open, locks, and you're good to go. We'll work our way up to the top here where we have the unit. We have our back brake, our front brake, bell. And then we activate the unit here with the power button. We have three speed modes. Right now we're in pedestrian, which is four. This turns it to 12 miles an hour for eco. And then we have a max speed of 24 miles an hour or the average speed when the battery's halfway is about 22, 21. So those are your three speed modes. This is your throttle that you go up and down with. So that's how you do that with an economical grips. So that makes it easier on your hands. And then there's little switches underneath the brake handles to deactivate the motor every single time that you do it. And then if you double tap the menu button, it turns on our headlight, so you're good for nighttime riding. So that's all covered there. And that's pretty much all you need to know.